Okay, welcome to DCSA 10. I'm going to go ahead and show you a basic startup that uh, sequence that I use, and it's never failed me. It doesn't involve all the uh, other bullshit that other people might use, so go ahead and do your battery power right here, and your inverter switch. That'll start whatever shit that noise means. And we'll go ahead and do a uh, APU start. <coughs> This gauge right here, your APU gauge is starting to go up. Once that settles, you'll be okay to uh, start your engine. Almost. Okay, it settled out of one time. Okay, we're good. Now we'll go ahead and uh, close my camera just so it'll help with the sound. Okay, canopy's closed, and now I can uh, start my engines. I'm going to do my boost pumps. One, two, three, four, and I'll go ahead and turn on my APU generator power left and right. <coughs> left and right engine. I'm sorry, APU gen power on. Okay. Now I'm going to start my engines. It'll be right alt and home. And look back, and we can see our right or left engine is started. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my CDU power on and my EGI power on. And that'll start the aligning sequence for my navigation. Okay, and in the meantime, what else can we do here? Uh, okay, yeah, I can do my pre flight bit test. Here we go. CDU power on, J stars on, and. Uh, IFFCC, okay, so yeah, click that halfway up to test, and it'll start to you can do uh, your pre-flight pre bit test here, and it'll start doing this thing, and uh, different alarms will go off at, you know, other times, and uh, okay, so now that our left engine is on and stable at 60 PSI, we're going to do our right engine with uh, right alt and home, or whatever, you know, you have it set to start your engines and uh, look back and you can see our engine yep there it it's going good and this is uh, where having a track IR comes in comes in handy um, you know another thing you want to make sure that you have your uh, pull up on. pull up see, there we go. Different ones going on. it's really altitude altitude okay so uh, top passing waypoint two at 3500 uh, hit to TR to transmit receive, and then we'll go into another bottom VHF to transmit receive, and we're going to hit our UHF right click once and to uh, name. It? I, I don't remember exactly what that one does. Anyway, it turns it on. Um, our pre flight bit is done. NCS2 passing waypoint 3 at 3500. As you can see, and we're going to press exit with the uh, enter key here. Our rocker switch, switch to uh, hit it to exit, and then we're going to turn our IFCC on by uh, left clicking it again. Colt 2, passing waypoint 5 at 11,000. Flip it all the way up. Let me adjust myself here. Okay. Uh, we have a little note flashing here, and that's just because on my CDs, or my MF, how many CDs? My MF, MFCDs uh, aren't turned on, but I can do that by right click all the way. Up. Right click on both these little. Things to toggle the uh, different settings you have. Passing, passing waypoint three at five thousand. And we'll go ahead and acknowledge the note. Okay, there we go. And then we'll press load all right here to load every uh, preset uh, information that from our data card that was put into our uh, aircraft. Um, and that'll load our our TAD, our Dismiss, our targeting pod, and everything. All the presets that we have, like waypoints and uh, our payload and everything, and uh, our weapons presets. I mean, that would have been done by whoever planned the mission beforehand, before we actually got in here. Okay, so yeah, and you press two one. Two one. Wizard, pop up group, three two nine four seventy at twelve thousand. Cold. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, GPU thirty eight, and you know, it'll destroy our whole payload. And uh, our tab, 
obviously will show our navigation information. Okay, so both our engines are up and good to go, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn our APU gen off, and then we'll go ahead and turn our APU off. And it makes that noise. Okay, we're cool. Uh, we'll go to CDU, and we'll see this. Uh, it's still aligning, and once it's aligned, it will show four zero zero eight. I don't know what that means, but I guess it like you know located our uh, our location or something or other. Uh, you know, very accurately. Now we can do this. We can uncage our uh, altitude standby indicator by. Scrolling down on the middle mouse and scrolling back up a couple times to uh, get it just about even. Now we're good to go there. We can go ahead and turn our anti skid on, and I'll go and turn my taxi lights on. Uh, I kind of prefer to set my seat up a little bit by uh, using this switch right here, the seat height adjustment, and hold that up for a couple seconds, and we're good to go. Because uh, sometimes I tend to move around a little bit in my chair when I'm sitting down using the track IR, and it, uh, I end up, you know, sitting down like this with my HUD all jacked up, and I can't see it, and it helps. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead. While the oh, uh, just aligned actually. Uh, okay, so that's aligned, and we're going to press nav right here after it's aligned. And then uh, you see that does this little thing. Let's switch that to EGI right here, this button. EGI navigation mode. And we'll go and turn our yawn pitch switches up. So we'll go and look back and turn this up and this up. The two switches behind our throttle. Uh, the EAC and the... NCL2, passing waypoint 4 at 20,000. It. Who cares? Those two switches. Switch them up, or your jet won't fly. There you go. And uh, we'll go ahead and do the ejection seat right now. And our Christmas tree is unlit, and we're good to go. A um, couple other thing. Well, maybe one other thing that I can think of. I like to do before we take off is, or two things actually. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, start my RWR. Turn it on. My uh, countermeasures. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four. These switches. And there you go. You get the uh, RWR, RWR coming to life. To uh, change your uh, countermeasure settings that you want to deploy, you right-click the uh, this uh, far right switch, and then you can see different settings: zero to chafe, flare, interval, and cycle. Chafe, I don't really mess with. Uh, flare is always default to zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to about three usually, and my interval up to about 0.5. Cycle is, uh, I usually set it to about uh, three cycles. So it's going to set two, cha two chafe off, three flare every 1.5 seconds for three intervals. And then uh, press the uh, save button here, the return slash save button. And uh, I'll go ahead and turn this off and back on I, to change it back to uh, this screen. And then if you want to do adjust your volume here for the RWR, because it can get annoying and kind of loud, so just uh, go right here to the audio. Hawk 2 1, Wizard, Bra 332-480 at 13,000, oh, cold. That's not annoying at all. Um, our, just RWR volume, just go and scroll down on this and it'll change the volume. Use the little volume knob. Uh, another thing I like to do, because when you're flying and you're over a target station, and you want to use your steer point, which is oftentimes, you know, a good reference location to use as your uh, speed for your targeting pod and everything. NCL2, passing waypoint 5 at 20,000. It's annoying when it changes if you fly over and it moves to the next NCL2, on station at both 336, foot 45 at 20,000. Okay, so uh, to change that, so it doesn't do that. Uh, we'll press function switch right here and 5 and we're going to change that to manual and we're good to go. So now I have to manually change my steer points and it's locked on there until I change it. To go back to your waypoint, we're going to press the function again. Pulse 2, passing waypoint 6 at 26,000. And 
Slowly. Call 2 on station at bullseye 3, 4, 5, for 30 at 26,000. Would you shut up? I don't care. Okay, anyways, before I go crazy, that's, that, that's really basically it. You can, uh, you know, start your master arm, your gun, with PAC or not with PAC. Uh, still on safe, and then we'll go and you can do your laser on. Passing, passing waypoint out. four at twenty four thousand. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, you're ready to uh, rock and roll. You know, just program your settings for your radio to whatever station, uh, air air station you're at, and you're good. Unless you wanted to also do your lights by switching one, two, three, four. Oh, no, 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 it's fine, actually. And then you can go and turn your lights on and. Get them flashing, and they to turn your. You have you have to have them flashing. Mine's a uh, right alt and uh, you know little up or left right buttons for for that. Uh, right alt and right to turn them on, and left or right alt and left to uh, have them start passing flashing. Passing waypoint five at twenty six thousand. And then to turn your anti collision on, you're good. Just click Cruising that. on station at bullseye three four five for forty at twenty six thousand. Right flashing. And then, uh, you know, you change your thing. Go ahead and t turn your nose to steering on, and you're able to, uh, you're good to go to go ahead and taxi out to the runway. So, that's really pretty much it. Good luck, and uh, I hope this helped.